Microphone check. One, two, skip the bullshit. You already know the Gemini Scorpio podcast is here. Uh, you know, um, Mr. J Hill, I'm here. Healer Bay is in the building. We are your know. host of the Gemini Scorpio podcast. We got something special today. Our first guest ever. Yes. We um said we wasn't gonna do guests. Yes. Um, yeah, but what the fuck is he doing here? I don't know. <laughs> I was just about to feel honored. And then yeah, I just... I don't know. Nah, because I had a, he is yeah, we need, we need to introduce this nigga. He's talking <laughs> already. Like, wait, see, like, hold no, up. That's crazy because honestly, <laughs> did he really is our first guest. I yeah. didn't even like. Wow. But this nigga talking. We need to introduce him yet. Hold up. Like, <laughs> hold up, man. He acting like that's that cameraman. So you know how they be talking behind the camera and shit. Come on, saying? bro. <laughs> it's like, nah, nah, nah. We got uh, the wolf is in the building. Of I ain't course. know if you want me to say your name. Yeah. However, yeah, we'll I say a name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Name. Uh, last name is Dick Dingley. No, nah, Dingle. 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 But it's cool because my last name Wolf now. So okay. Uh-huh. Wow. Okay. Uh-huh. Naeem Wolf. Yeah. Naeem Wolf. I, I like that. I, I fuck like with that. that. I don't know. Yeah. I don't want to disrespect you and say oh, you. Yeah. All, yeah. all right. Naeem uh, Wolf is in the building. Came all the way down from Philly. Yeah. And this guy came. Shout out to Philly. Yeah, Can I got, just say was... I love Philly? We got. We just came back from Philly yesterday. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I yeah. Heard, yeah. But we go to Philly a lot, and we've had mad fun mm-hmm. every time. Like I've never had a bad time in Philly. We've had so much fun in Philly all the time. Like for real. Not facts. How y'all feel about them cheesecakes? Uh, this time mine was good. They didn't get theirs right. So this time, <laughs> it still was point. good. Yeah. It's just I went to um, De La De La Sandro. De La Sandro. I never knew how to never said it right. Ever. Nigga, I didn't call it De Sandros, De Serranos. Like I was looking for it. I was like, that's not. I'm not spelling it right at all. So I yeah, I didn't know how to say. But yeah, it's always be it be smacking. Yeah. But this time. You know how they make everything, they put everything on the bottom. Yeah. So I had to eat it from bottom up. Pause. Hey, yo. Shoot. Yeah, you wildin'. That sound bad. <laughs> but no, yeah, bottom but, up, it could, it could, it could, sound, it could be full. So I didn't sound that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, I had to, I had to eat it from the bottom up because like every, it was bland and shit on top. Like yeah. All the, yeah. Oh, they put all your stuff. On the on bottom, the like, you know, the like. Yeah. So. Oh, no. See, see, crazy thing is, I don't even, I didn't, I never even had one What's from the, Dilly's Time. I go to Ishka Bibble. Okay, so I was like, here's the thing. Uh, no, so we went to Ishka yeah. Bibbles one time. My sub was smacking, smacking? but yeah. nobody else's was. But I added hella shit on mine. Yeah. It was so good. It was all right. I said I like Ishka yeah. Bibbles. I like gems. Gems is gems cool, yeah. but smacking. Their they, line they was they, out of control But they cooked their meat no in like, like pork lard or something like that. Oh. Uh, and Philly culture is like Muslims. So like a lot of wow, people don't eat that. Wow. But they did, before I knew that. But I think their line is long because of tourists. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Because, like, yeah, because I think tourists know to go there. Because yesterday we was we went down there first, and the line was like through so the So it's road. another spot. It's small, though. When you go in, I think you go into your left, mm-hmm. and it's like a small spot. But they got mad pictures of like celebrities and shit. I, yeah, I that's the it. other Ishka Bibbles. Okay. There's it's two a, of them. Okay. It and is they both on the same block. Okay. Right, yeah. I think it's right. one and two. Yeah. All right. Because remember, I was that. like, this don't look yeah. like the spot I went to. Yeah. yeah. There's two of them. No, I like Ishka Bibbles, though. They're good. That's where I go. I can get them. But you can also go to like any poppy store and get a good cheesecake in Philly. Okay, wow. so that's how we start the podcast off. Um, we're gonna do a little different. Shout out, how was your week, babe? Who, how was my week? What did it? So, I was a bum all week, didn't get dressed till Saturday. Um, I worked all week, you know, I'm gearing up for Scorpio season, so I'm com- kind of like hibernating till I pop out. Joe, know what's up? You feel what I'm saying? Scorpio gang. So, you know, my birthday's coming up, so I've been just taking it easy, just chilling. And then on Saturday, like we said, we went to Philly, had mad fun. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we went to the pumpkin patch. We got cheesesteaks and, you know, did s'mores and all that fun stuff that I like to do. So it was lit. Mm-hmm. My week was pretty decent. Um, what did I do? Uh, I did the same thing. You worked all week. Yeah, I worked all week. and then, It's a bum too all week. Yeah. I'm still yeah. a bum. I didn't get a haircut. Shout out to keep dragging on me and shit. Like, that's not true. Don't lie. How was your week? Uh, well, we don't care how his week is. They don't even know who he is. We're <laughs> supposed to ask him. To who is he? Yeah. My bad. Transition. <laughs> <laughs> well, so who are you? Cool. <laughs> let, us, let the people know who you are and <laughs> what you're about. Because we, what we not, see, I do a lot of interviews, and what we're not going to do is. I told him he's we ain't not doing no allowed interviews. to make this yeah. interview. So, well, just to have, just, have you follow, have our audience follow us as well. <laughs> we're just going to have you introduce yourself, what okay. you're doing, your book, and everything like that. And then we're going to go into the podcast how we normally do, right? Yeah. Um, I'm an um, entrepreneur, author, mogul from Philadelphia. Uh, just released my first book, critically acclaimed, by the title itself, Cheating is Not Cheating. Mm, yeah. It's been gaining a lot of traction, you know, causing a lot of controversy, of thought-provoking conversations, and a lot of backlash, you know, but... Yeah, because I'm already... That's, that's typically from people... I'm not, ready to that's, talk. that's always when somebody haven't finished a book, though. I don't receive no backlash okay. from okay, somebody that went cover to cover. Fair ever. enough. 
Fair but enough. like somebody that might flip to a pin. Yeah, it's they like, got, oh yeah. hell no. Nah. Yeah, always. Cause y'all they hit me with like, oh fuck no, this is I what said, I want to talk about. To I said, oh what? I said who? I, I just want to talk. Cause who is this dude? And we need to have a conversation. Yeah, so you know I've been um <laughs> just like I said first book, but I've been around on the Philly scene for a while. Uh, well known, you know what I'm saying. We got a history of entertainment. We got a record label. You know, I, I got my hands. I'm a serial entrepreneur, so I do yeah. a lot of entrepreneurship. Yeah. So I won't even get into that. But we do help people start businesses. Yeah. Provide. Uh, I've been an entrepreneur to small businesses with resources. Um, I got a marketing company, and I got help people with like marketing, branding. I'm a consultant for the most part. Yeah. So, okay. You went to school for that, or? Uh, nah, actually, I went to school um, when I did go because I didn't finish. I, was, I studied, uh, I majored in English and I minored in psychology. So that's dope, th- though, yeah. to have any about still. But I ain't finished. Though. That's cool, but, but you still got yeah. something. Yeah, that's still. I finished and didn't really finish. Can I, can I defend, my, can I de- can I defend myself, though, for, yeah. what, for the people watching? I only didn't finish because honestly, like, I'm self taught. So, like, yeah. when, I, when they yeah. gave me my textbook, I used to be like, Chapters ahead of the class, and yeah. I would be coming. It was one a week, once a week for three hours, and I would be going to psychology class. And I'm like, yo, I'm already like at chapter 14. Mm-hmm. We t- on chapter three, so I was like, mm-hmm. you know what? I just kept the textbooks. I paid for them, and I just mm-hmm. started mm-hmm. teaching myself. Listen, you heard what That's I said. how you gotta do it. I finished, but this shit ain't do shit, so I ain't finished. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm self taught too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for real, that's how we learn. Like yeah. trial and error, figure it out. Yeah. I went to Life Experience University. Facts, yeah, but, like, hey, same. <laughs> Cause, Cause I got my master's in that motherfucker. <laughs> she, yeah, hell yeah, we close to the doctorate All almost. Right, almost. You know, I got a little Call more time. Call me Doctor Hill, motherfucker. Period. It's a lot PhD more than me. I Okay. Yo, let's get to the podcast. <laughs> uh, so uh, we usually go to um, different segments, right? Uh, we still going to do that today, uh, but we're going to go. Our segment is going to actually be a chapter of the book. Cheating is not cheating. Um, and I think Shade hit me like Shade like, yo, this is what we're going to do. She, she like, All right, I'm gonna look over it. You know what I'm saying? So she looked over it. She looked over it and um she was like, nah, I need to talk about chapter six because why? Why why you want to talk about it, baby? Manslaughter manslaughter versus capital murder. Mm-hmm. Chapter six. What, what made you choose this? So song? originally uh, originally uh, no, that's the right word. Originally, uh we was like, we're gonna pick a chapter and we'll go into that. And the name actually intrigued me at first because thinking what manslaughter means and obviously right. capital murder. So right. I'm like all right, now let me see what this is about. Then I read the first page. I was like, <sighs> next page. <laughs> it's, oh. like, nah. it's like, uh, no, but um, a couple things I want to say. What I really liked, um, I liked your, uh, it was almost like the book is like a conversation. So okay. you're really like, it was really witty. Like you were like, okay, before y'all start that, I already know what y'all about to say. Like, <laughs> and I actually like that because that's what actually kept me reading it. Because it was like, he was like, yeah. Because talking to the- your ass. <laughs> and I was like, I have an open mind before you get. I ain't going to lie. I said, before, to look, it's so funny. When I first started reading, I said, <laughs> when he was talking, I was like, Man, nah, these niggas not about to finesse me in this book. But then I was like, nah, because he could be talking about. Say, so I was like, let me just read before I keep going, right? Um, so reading it, you know, dissecting the difference between manslaughter and capital murder, the levels of cheating. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. One being manslaughter. Obviously, you know the meaning of manslaughter, non-intent, but yeah. you commit the damage, yeah, right? right? right, right. Uh, capital murder, me and death penalty, you wild it. You did too much, right, right, right? right? You know what I mean? And breaking that down. So, what I got, <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you here what go, I here got. Go. Okay. You know, I got that you were saying that men more commit manslaughter cheating, where it's like, I didn't mean to do it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe drunk night, you know, accidentally fucked the bitch, slipped my dick in her. It was an accident. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Didn't mean to. You know what I'm saying? The box didn't, it didn't tell me to do it, but I didn't mean to do it. It was just there. It just fell on my dick. That's what I heard, right? It's just. What? That's not what we're saying. <laughs> That's what I what? heard. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, and then I read women do capital murder cheating where it's spiteful, it's intentful, like that nigga did this to me, so I'm going to go find 12 dicks and just fuck them all. So I'm like, oh, nah, 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 nah. Babe. He's wilding. What, what, book, what book did you read? I read that. <laughs> That's not the book she you read. You read Cheating Not Cheating? Because when I read, I thought he did a great job at um saying, he actually put the, per, like the, what is it? The, 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 the little slash. It said men and women a lot. No, he so did, I he did, he did. I thought he did, he did, he did a great job at that, so. When you said you read that I woman, took, I took what I wanted men, to men, hear. I'm like, what? like wait. <laughs> the so, men were silent. La, la, la. The men were silent. Was, every word. Every I time was I fuming. I'm reading this shit like. He was like, both, <laughs> like, both can do both. Nah, he's a, he. Well, what he said was he's. 
Uh-oh. to my knowledge, it was, you know, men, women, and it was like, look, both can be the opposites in Jew manslaughter intent. So yeah. that's and capital murder. So yeah. I, what I got from it, um, I had a couple questions, but it was more so towards the end, end of it. Uh, the only thing, ah, the only thing, and we real, so we can be real. The only yeah, thing yeah. that I, I was, I wish that it was more of was more, um, and I think we talked about this, mm-hmm. was more like solid facts in how, like, cases maybe. Like, okay. right? case like example. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, case, case studies. Because th- then it will be like, oh, wow, this is where he got it from. Yeah. Now, it's like it leaves it open to, well, just from this chapter, because I don't know. Yeah, like yeah, said, we didn't I, finish I, the whole book. You know what I'm saying? So, in so, your defense, so, we didn't finish so, the whole book. So, but I'm like, shit. I'm like, I'm on your side, but I'm like, damn, I just know girls going to kill this nigga for this. And I'm like, but if you had the case studies right beside it, you know what I'm saying? Then I'm like, all right, facts. Because I'm like, who is this nigga and who told him his facts was law? <laughs> I was like, who told him his facts like, you, was you, law? You, like, for example, you use words like most men or in most cases, right? Mm-hmm. And I know in our arguments and me and Shadi arguments, when I try to say that, she's like, you can't say most because you ain't in most people situations so mm-hmm. it's like fuck so it's like from a man it's like to help my argument is like, all right if you had case studies that would be lit because now i'm like well according to motherfucking johns hopkins case study six number six six two six this is where the fuck we got it from you know what i'm saying so that's you, you know what i'm saying so like however it it's not there right so no, like so that. what i would say is that's the only thing i wish but i think you did a great job at um representing the man's side and the so, woman's side yeah and the woman's For side sure. towards the For end sure. uh we was speaking about i, I did get confused because I'm not a law student, so mm. I, I, just being honest, the first yeah. time I read it, it's, I had to read it again because I was doing more trying to remember mm-hmm. what mass slaughter, what, what capital, was. capital was, and then yeah. what was, because then you broke it down to first degree, yeah. second degree, and I'm trying right. to remember what yeah. it is. I love that, yeah. by the way, Thank yeah. you. how you did that. Thank I you. love that. But because I didn't know, I'm sometimes I'm missing a point because I'm trying to remember yeah. what the fuck first degree right, right, I had right, people right. say that yeah right, right. Like, cause you know I put the um the definitions at the yeah. back and they're like why didn't you do that first I was like I kinda wanted to walk you through, through it, it and right. then like leave you but with it but I feel like in the beginning you still kinda broke it down yeah. though too so but I love that you did because there is that's where the it's, I think you said there's one to six that, I, that's something I learned yeah. I didn't even know there was one to six degrees I knew that people get like first degree second degree or third degree but I didn't know it was a six accumulation degree. of six like all together that you can so no when I put the six acts of premeditation that was like right. yeah like no I like kind of created that like okay. being creative okay. but like so you create yeah, some yeah. more shit that girls gonna think yeah. on now you running with shit now you doing too much now you doing too much but look but the okay, way I exactly. articulated it made it like it made, it made it fun for me yeah yeah yeah, yeah yeah people sure. was able to grasp the concept Stuff. Like, all right, so I get tell what me what you think or what we Let's you want us to yeah. okay. get out of it. Um, well, I mean, like, just in regards to like the examples, I touch on Jay's point first. Um, like, and to be so leading Why up you touch to on it, his part first? only because it stuck with me. Just, yeah, just joking. so for I'm the really, viewers. In <laughs> chapter four, um, I said, "Can a man commit capital?" I gave a lot of examples in there, and then chapter five, I said, "A woman commits manslaughter." So that's where all the examples yeah. is at. So this is where like everything that you might be saying is like lying in old chapters. Right. So like. Y'all going straight to manslaughter versus capital. Like, okay, I already said what it was right, and right. how you do it. Okay. This is the difference in the two. two. Okay, so, so you won't. already... Yeah, up, explain. Ch- yeah. One to five, you already covered that. Yeah. Then we, then got, we started at six, six yeah. so you're just really breaking it down now. So yeah. we're getting that end the, cuss exactly, of that. the definition. Okay. So like we, got, okay. Okay. we got the book now, just for the people that, that haven't read it. Let's go into it, because yeah. we kind of did this in the interview. Yeah. Let's go into it just and so I, we can I, have the can I, can I Can I get one off? I want to uh, pull something up. And then I still wanted to touch on Shadeh's point, too, though, in regard to just um you know you said that basically you felt like i was saying men can yeah basically like men is more subjected to doing capital i mean um manslaughter, manslaughter. And women is more but in chapter seven mm-hmm. is intent changes everything so that's why i describe like why it, it appeared that way and this right. chapter eight is stop ignoring the double standard right because like we act like these i actually things was gonna read exist. that yeah. first and I I, you know what's that. so funny yeah that was my first preference i was like damn i want to read this but i felt like me and jay talk about double standards so, so much not, yeah. i wanted to give it a different aspect okay. but i wanted to go there first because i thought that was going to be very interesting so, so i'm gonna, gonna put a book while y'all got two so yo pop them open okay and let's go this like, we're gonna turn this yeah. into a motherfucking class i yeah. love it <laughs> if we could very I don't... cute book it's very chic i love it you yeah. know very light real cute Hey, All right, where we going? Hey, he traveled all the way from Philly, so he gonna get this promotion. So fuck with y'all. Yeah, exactly. I know somebody like, man, he promote my shit like that. Yeah, yeah fuck y'all. That was two hours. Say nah, say nah. I'm just joking. This nigga got up at like seven o'clock in the morning. I'm just joking. Four, so he, I sure. he was on I time. He was on world time. I'm like, he's almost ten minutes. Oh my god. 
Right. So, so let's go to what, what page so, you on? No, so I, what I like to do is no, actually I would like for y'all to, to pick a chapter, even if it's okay. pick chapter six. So y'all wanna no, I mean like even like outside of that because like okay. I, I don't mind just like All going right. over an overview okay. of one of the chapters that y'all might have a question about. I'm gonna I thought the question was chapter six. That's what we want to say. All right, about. so yeah, so we're gonna let's go on to man's slaughter versus okay. capital. Yeah. Just understanding the terms itself. Basically, like I say manslaughter is, is, is done without malice, you know what I mean? Sometimes unintentional, but manslaughter can be intentional, but not severe enough to be considered capital in a sense. So I was like, this is not like the Constitution where I'm like, hey, you know, you at a party, you you have a shot of liquor, you like, yo, the book said if I drink some liquor, it's manslaughter. I, he says you know that I mean? in the book. I think because I want to make it clear, like I'm not saying you could whip this out because like there's no page in my book that justifies cheating. Anything. I just want to put put yeah. out there to the world. I don't justify it, but I break it down because I feel like there's a lack of understanding. Were you a, a cheater? Of, I, I, I cheated before for sure. Okay. I've been okay. cheating on as well. Okay. So, you all know, right. just so all we right. know. All right. All right. Go ahead. I talk. How, how, how did that, like, so being a cheater versus like cheating on somebody, yeah. right? Like, when you, well, yeah, being a cheater versus getting cheated on. Yeah. What, what did that do for you? So, I think for me personally, if when I, when I was cheating, I, it's not, I wasn't caught. You know what I'm saying? So like it just me bearing like my own like you know I'm taking accountability. Yeah. My my girlfriend had never caught me like never not I never got a dress for it. And it's not to say like she was naive or nothing. Yeah. I, and I don't want to act like I was just that was good. Sneaky. I was I was I was doing I was, sneaky, <laughs> you know? I was creating room to do what I wanted to it's do. Smooth. You know what I mean? So when when she cheated on me, it's not like I felt like she did it out of spite or anything because it was no reason right, for her to do know. it. So you know what I mean? I had to look at it in a different light. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, well, but it just wasn't. So it wasn't I, I wasn't do, the reason. Do men understand that like when you're cheating, we do know even if we don't know. So I'm no. not saying that that's yes, not possible. No. Yes. I'm saying it. Why? You think, I think they will address it. Why? Because if you... Energy, bro. Like energy it. changes. The way you move changes. I can see it. Boy, stop so playing. So it's that Scorpio oh, bullshit. Oh, I'm so saying. I can read it on you. No. No. All right. That's not true. If you, if, if a man has... I'm not N- gonna niggas say. come home because they mad at their side bitch and take it out on you. Stop. You know what I mean? Stop. See, I was stop. never emotionally cheating, though. I wasn't putting my emotions into Okay, so what? So going. do you think there's different type of men that some men emotionally cheat mm-hmm. and invested in some men? That's what makes, the capital. That's, that's, makes so the capital. that's the conversation yeah. I want to ask you. Yeah, that okay. makes the capital. I wanted to... So emotionally cheating, because like that's the conversation I want to yeah. have. Emotionally cheating can be... It, it, it's not just one way. No. So you have emotion. So when you described it, emotionally cheating was like was almost like having se- another relationship. And uh, so basically, like anything that's like, in re- like it don't have to even go that far. But like if that's your intentions, then yeah, like once yeah. you start altering like you how you move, have two yeah, like right. you feel so, away. Like yeah. when I'm looking at, so is I think another point of emotionally cheating is emotionally cheating from the standpoint of I'm um, hurt. So yeah, saying, well, that's yeah. what he said in the yeah, book. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was manslaughter. It was right. more so the vulnerability yeah. level exactly. of cheating. Yeah, 100%. Sad, right. but sadness, upset, so, so, yeah. like yeah. emotion. Irrational thinking. Irrational yeah. thinking. And that's what yeah. you said. But when I was looking at it. See, we read. We yeah. read. You like you said, we read. I'm looking at irrational thinking as because when you say, I'm a very literal person sometimes. Okay. So when you say very when you say irrational thinking, mm-hmm. I looked up the definition and it's like, uh, and I think I might have it. We can pull it up. I like to pull it up. Fuck it. I don't want to be speaking nothing that's not facts. Um, irrational. I got it. You know how to, I got you. <clears throat> so irrational is uh, not logical or responsible, not endowed with the power of reason. Right. So when I look at irrational, when you say irrational, like what do you mean by that? Because for me, emotionally, outside of having a relationship with another person, it can be emotionally disconnected from my woman or her being emotionally disconnected from me. So now we that drives us to doing things like, drinking or putting ourselves in positions that we wouldn't normally be in right. and to me i'm thinking like that can be an, an irrational choice yeah but from the definition maybe not an irrational decision i don't know what so do you mean i think what, what i think that the definition is subjective and it's perspective based so i think it's like circumstantial so like what's rational to you might not be rational to somebody else but mm. I, i'm using it in a literary sense of like What's your normal state of mind? Like, what's right. your normal thing? And okay. Like, you wouldn't normally do that. Right. You know what I mean? So it's not to justify why you did it, but it just isn't it's irrational. Still wrong, but you know, it's like somebody. You are. It's like you come in and you you see yourself being cheated on, and you snap out and you kill the guy. Right. Like rationally, right. you're right. not making it. If you had enough right. time to think, right. you don't want to do it, but you come in and it just happened. You're like, you don't know what else to do. It's irrational. Now that's good. So I read it on my online book, so I'm gonna pull it up right here, right? So okay. I, ha- I just have a comment, right? So you took a note. I feel like I did. <laughs> I did. I did. So I marked it in red and everything. Okay, so red for the devil. So, <laughs> so this is what kill, kills me. This said, a man's pride and ego eats away at him every time he envisions his woman in bed with another man. 
Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Hell yeah. I, I, like, I can't that. even think about that. I stand on that. But it says that it eats away his ego. Like, that alone makes him emotional yeah. to yeah, potentially cheat. Sure, and you know, so you no, no, I didn't say that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 It has to be a point to the fact. No. So it's so every time you think about me having sex with a man, it eat at you. And then the next thing it says right after that, depending on the strength of the man's ego, yeah. that will determine how we have an understanding of what the act of manslaughter is. Now it's time for me to break it down. That's the action of capital. That's so, too different. So, but but leading up to your note. Before that, <laughs> that's my saying. Too, that's two different. Like, no, no, you see what I'm yeah. getting? At? I'm getting. I'm reading. I'm like, you gotta read on top of that to get to <laughs> because know. it's only in regards to being like him. It's not like he's going to be. I mean, it could happen if you're thinking of some past shit, but I don't think somebody should be revisiting the past, right? But any, but it only happens so, when a man is cheated on, and then he keeps envisioning like, damn, I, I'm having sex with my girl, and this is what this nigga was doing, or what? Then we start overthinking like, was he, he feeling like this, or what? And that's what he says. The man it depends on the strength of the man. Ego, or yeah. ego, because what happens is it's different men. For yeah. example, let's get outside of cheating for a second, right? Just to get get an example. I hope I'm not going on a tangent. So sometimes, let's say you have an Instagram chick, right? Right. Some guys are okay with that. Right. Some guys aren't. Right. Depending right. on a man's ego, honestly, or his emotional yeah. state, he can. Some men can deal with things that other men can't because exactly. right. we haven't exactly. got there. Right. Yet. Exactly. So real, when if a, if a girl, even with women, it's not yeah. just man right. thing. So like if 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 a man cheat on his woman, if a girl right. cheat on his man, depending on how emotionally um. Emotionally mature, not, mature, right. exactly. Yeah. Depending on how emo emotionally mature right. that man is, he can get not get over it, yeah. but he can right. put it in the past. Deal with it. Other men, they they might say they forgive you, right. and then they still, still bring up in the past right. because it's still, still haunting. Right. right, and well, that's what I got from it. Yeah, so when yeah. he was like, I was like, <laughs> wait, that's what you read? Because I didn't get that. But what <laughs> else, women, I don't think that's like. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, this book is for us too. I'm just picking because I'm a Scorpio and I read differently. And I do, so. talk, about <laughs> I do talk about forgiveness in there, yeah. how to forgive and should yeah. you forgive. And it basically like uses examples like what you just yeah. said, like and it's, but, it's a testament. Right. And something I, you know, that I read that you were saying, just basically the point of that determines the level of the forgiveness of yeah. which category it fell in. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, sometimes you do a crime and it's like, like uh, I forgot the example you used, but basically should somebody be held at the same you know, like punishment as somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. for example, uh, somebody accidentally kills somebody for like, let's just say not to be an extremist, but for defending themselves or would they, should they get the same punishment as somebody who went out there and just killed somebody? You know what I mean? It's so like, it's, it's, it's a different punishment it's level. It's kind of like self-defense, right? right. Yeah. So in some states, especially Maryland, I know like self-defense isn't, if somebody runs or turns their back on you, that is no longer self-defense because you had a chance to flee. You know what I'm saying? Damn, we don't what? even get that in Philly. Yeah, really? there ain't no self defense. No, nah, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Maryland. I so like, basically, that. we don't have. I don't think we have self defense at all. Mm. So what happened is, I remember one of my, my my friend had got into a, a a fight, and the guy they jumped him, but then they started to run away, and then my cousin kind of like stabbed him, but it was like on the back of his head, and it wasn't self defense. So he had to go to jail for a long time because Damn. you know what I'm saying. It was like that's crazy. Yeah, it was like yeah. it's no self defense because he he went to he went to leave. Yeah. So that means he was exiting out of the situation. He's no longer a threat. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like. Same what we're, right. what we're saying is like some things are right uh, immediate threat yeah. and some things aren't right. and, um, right. we view differently yeah. Yeah. and that's how I and that's why that's how we even get to the title in itself like it's just like right. you know it's like it's not a universal law right. that says like because crime yeah. is not crime like right. it's not one yeah so, and which breaks down cheap. those degrees and why it matters like yeah. that but is know? that really true because sin is definitely sin no yeah. matter how we look at it. But but we're coming up and uh, we govern by law, right. right? So like universal law runs all, like that's right. religion, and different things like spirituality. Right. But we govern by right. the laws, laws of man. Of, right. So with them laws, it's like it's not one universal law right. as to like they, they would say this murder is different than this. Yeah, murder. because if you if something happens in Maryland. If you go to Virginia, you it could be the same. Yeah. Something yeah. totally yeah. different. Yeah. You won't get life. Commonwealth you know what I'm saying? State. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, yeah. And we're a Commonwealth state, too. Uh, oh, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. I never knew Philadelphia I mean, uh, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe yeah. I did, yeah. and I just didn't remember. Um, Pennsylvania, I'm sorry. Because yeah. we sound so stupid right as shit. But I, I got you. I get it. We, <laughs> we only no, Philly is his own state. We only go to Philly and PA. I don't go nowhere else out there. So, um, Because everywhere else reminds me of like Utah. But Oh, my God. Ignorance on the fucking podcast today. So, I had another point. I just had notes because I had this up set. Okay, so the other one I had to speak of before we even continue on. It said, women are loyal to their emotions, and that's just that. Okay. I, I and, and 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 men 
are more loyal than we are when because did we're. <laughs> like, 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 I did not say that. I said a man's definition the views of, of loyalty. Are not sponsored by the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it for myself. Uh, <laughs> Jay argued me that this morning. He said he did not say no, that. I was I, like, I said, well, no, no, I he kind of said it. Like, I said, are you sure he said that? Look, and I was I like, yeah. Look, I was like, yeah. And I was going. I was like, fuck. He didn't directly <laughs> say that, but what he said was. It said. So what do you men mean? Men and women cheating are viewed differently. Okay, not that part. What do you, when you say, when you were in that point, when you were just like, uh, men are loyal by default, like they hold loyalty to a different standard than women. What did you mean by that? No, nah, our standards are different. All right, my bad. Nah, so I, so, Talking to so, the author. So I ain't say by default. I just wanted to get a couple of nah. words in context. <laughs> Never said by default. I just said a man's definition of loyalty and a woman's definition. I think men should stop holding women to their definition of loyalty. What's y'all definition of loyalty? No, period. Because, Wait, what no, is y'all so definition like, it's of more, loyalty? So it's more of an, it's more of an integral thing. It's more of a, like a dignity okay. thing. Like for, from a man to a man, like why, why you give a man your word. Like no, because it's, 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 not, it's not that y'all can't be. But when we're talking about, I say y'all loyal to our emotions because... It depending on the state of mind, you're going to determine it. Like as a man, he's due respect just because he's a man. You know what I'm so, saying? But like, like I feel like, go ahead. You want me to finish? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. ahead. So from man to man, like we just like, all right, I respect that man or I don't respect that man. It ain't really contingent upon like how I'm feeling in that moment. But I feel like if you're upset, the level of respect you might issue to somebody is going to be different than if you're, you know what I mean? So hold up, what I want to ask, right? Because we want to be fair. I'm just... Yeah. As it, like you said. The level of respect for men is about, res I mean, the level of loyalty for a man is about respect, yeah. dignity, loyalty, or yeah. like dignity. Even respect. with our women too, though. Right. So in fairness, we are, we shouldn't be the ones to tell a woman what their level of respect is. No. So I'm going to ask you, what is, what do you see? I feel respect? like there's women who work out of Thank morality you, and dignity as well. Like, you know what I mean? So at the end of the for day, the so part, because, no, uh, okay, because this is I what I will say, I right? When we talk about it in a cheating st standpoint, right? A lot of women don't cheat out of respect. You know what I'm saying? So when men I cheat, agree. when men cheat, it's to us, it's a disrespect I thing, agree. which so, is why we are so upset. So it's like, are you loyal? Because like you went and. And when that's I, you what know he's, what I'm saying? But that's so what I'm I think glad, he's saying in the book. Yeah, I'm we glad gotta you said stop that, yeah. holding each other. Not and I think he's, he worded it wrong when he said men have to stop holding women to their degree of loyal or respectful. Mm -hmm. It's not that, it's about both of us. On yeah. both sides, we yeah. both yeah. have to yeah. stop. Yeah. Just like we're like I, we have this conversation about individuals. Mm -hmm. We're individuals, we're not the same. So mm -hmm. I can't expect me from you. And you're vice versa. A, exactly. And, and you shouldn't versa. respect you from me. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. Yeah, and yeah, even to coincide with what he's saying, is at the same time, like the way men view loyalty amongst each other is different than how I do feel like they should hold it to the woman. Cause you're right, y'all do view it like don't do to me what you don't want done to you. Cause like that's a sign of uh, but loyalty is not identified like that within a man. Like, you know what I mean? It's not like don't do to me what you want to do to me. It's like if you if you disloyal, you're just disloyal. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna be disloyal because 'cause you're disloyal. Look, my thing you is, know what I'm saying? Like if you like a nut, like, I'm not gonna I be a nut like because you're a nut. As a woman, I feel cheating. No, and, I, and, that, and that's respectable. Yeah. Nobody can take that because if you think about the actions of being cheated on, like, yeah, that shows yeah. a, a, it's, a it's different level. A sign of but I just don't I just don't see, like, when the women be like, you could be loyal to your bros, but not to your girl. And I'm like, that identifies different. Like, the loyalty that I give to my homies, my, oh, I'm God. not, I'm, you don't because I'm not. To your woman? You said what? You don't want to give but, that to your but woman? You're no, but you're not giving me the loyalty that you give to your woman. They're, you're your homegirl. Actually, I feel no, like no, it's so more. I don't think that, I feel like I don't think that should be compared. It shouldn't be compared. I don't think that should be compared. However, because we're talking about it, you're like, you know, with my bros. Bros, like you know, what I'm saying, woo woo. And no, I think it's different. My woman is my woman. I'm not. You don't. You don't interact with your bros in a way that you interact with your and woman. That's fair. So that's it's like fair. I don't. I wouldn't even expect certain things from my bros that I might expect right. from my woman. So right. I understand that concept, okay. but that's okay. why I don't think that. A, but a man would. When women say, yeah, because if you, you always run to go to your boys, but when I call you out, you don't never want to go with me. I'm like, that's not the same thing. No, that's, that's, yeah, all yeah, the time. that's not. That's that's not the same. I'm with I agree. You all the time. I agree. So my boys coming. Yeah, I'm going to have fucking fun. But it's like fun. But it's like, but I'm not. But it's like, please, because when I want to go do fun shit. You're like, because you always want to do fun shit with some. But what? no, I think just what? like trying to and gauge. That, that's what you wanted to say. Nick? I didn't say it, but if you said it. But just trying to gauge the whole thing about like where y'all loyalty. When I say loyalty to y'all emotions, because like I said, if y'all in a better state, I'm like you're right. Y'all don't. Y'all will not cheat out of respect. Yeah. But the moment you feel disrespected, that respect is going out the window. No. And I think that like okay. that's what I'm saying. Like okay. me personally, it's like it's like I'm not going to alter my character. Mm -hmm. Because of the actions of somebody so, else, and that's so that's that's another thing that I think we should have, should talk about because I think we gotta stop comparing each other, right? Hundred percent. And, and 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 a lot of lessons you don't know until you learn them. Hundred yeah. percent. And I'm gonna just be a hundred percent um with you, right? Like, cause it's things that I thought that I that 
that I've just recently learned because of that. Like I just think the same way. And to to get what you're saying, so I won't sound like I'm going crazy uh, on a tangent. You was like, men won't just because you respect me don't mean I'm gonna go out my way to disrespect you. Right. And we don't know how we're gonna like we don't know what our breaking points are. Right. Right. And I think that's on both sides. Like it's not just that women are. Like if 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 we cheat on women that we disrespected them or we were dis- disloyal to them, so because they are loyal to their emotions, then they they're not going to be loyal to us. I just think that it's an emotional state of mind. Period. So a lot of times, that's how humans are. So what happens is if somebody is disloyal to you and you feel like you were loyal to them, or if somebody reacted in a way that you don't think you re- you would react to them, any of that can push you down to the level, not of just cheating, of just a way of irrational yeah, thinking. Because right. now that's like you said, that's 100%. not the way I would think. So originally. even when I even when I say like so I'm not even like I said, I'm not even putting the loyalty in the yeah. co- in a conversation with men or women. Like even my just so I clear up to the camera, even when I say to a man or from a man to a woman, I'm not saying like in this particular matter, like how I view loyalty and I'm trying to impose it on to my girl. It's more so me saying like if I'm when when I look at loyalty like that I that's do for my friends it does identify yeah. different in my relationship. Like, even right. if it's a higher level right. of loyalty. Right. And that's really what yeah. you're saying in the book. It's right. just like, I look at it different. So, like, you know what I mean? I, I get that. I and get then that. another thing is, Sorry. like, it's like, I don't want, like, a woman should view cheating as disrespectful. Mm. And in and, and most cases, men, men, and, women. I, and men, and I feel like, and men, this is why I talk a lot about nature, because you, you speak on human nature. It's like, when men operate in a certain way, and this is why I say women could do the same thing, it's like when they act in a certain way, if a man know he's having sex with somebody that he don't give two shits about, he don't think he's disrespecting his relationship. Women could get on here and try to debate that and try to argue, but I'm a man, it's not a man. It, 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 even when right. men try to, That's right. I, I don't right. like when men That's try to side is. against their nature. Like it, yeah. when you grow up, you get out of it. But the fact right. of the matter is, is the mindset. That's not what you were doing. And if you ever did it, you wasn't thinking like that. Right. That's what you were doing. So that's how it's being interpreted. Right. So you're like, oh no, he's disrespecting me. But he's like, oh wait, that's not what I was trying to do. You see right. what I'm saying? So a man ain't going into that. Now if he's being disrespectful in terms of like, I feel like making this woman feel special, going out yeah, his way, applying effort, right. lying to you. Capital doing murder. He started getting into the capital part. He's yeah. no different than yeah. anybody that, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But that's not to justify the actions of it, though. And I think that women have to get out of the idea, like, women go crazy, like, as soon as they think of a man cheating is, you must like her. Yeah, exactly. And I think that and a I, lot exactly. of men actually, that's not really the case, but a lot of women stick that in their head, like, no, 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 no. He likes her. He wanted to do, you know, be with her. And it's just, realistically, and I it's not always about the case. That in the book. And, uh, yeah. And, 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 yeah. and, 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 and as men, right, an uncomfortable conversation that we have to, that we have to acknowledge, right, not even have, because we have these, the uncomfortable conversation is that we have to accept that, I'm going to sound like a hypocrite, but I stand... I'm going to be understanding what I'm saying, but I stand on what the fuck mm-hmm. I stand on. You know what I'm about to say. Yeah. We have to understand, we have to accept the fact that there's women out there who do do the same thing. Yeah, that 100%. can have yeah. sex yeah. and not no, care. No, Yo, yeah, yeah. Hell I don't yeah. hell stand yeah. on hell that. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. I really right. love this hell conversation. I'm going to tell you, I don't stand on it, though. No, is it, but listen, I'm going to be, I'm gonna be yeah. fair. I, 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 I love it because I swear I can't make this shit up. Everything you say is in the book, bro. Every single thing. like That's why I'd be like, yo, it's so deeper. It's so much deeper than just like cheating itself. right? And I break that down because I'm like, this is what can a woman commit manslaughter? This is me saying like, we're not going to act like it's not women out here who unattached to their emotions when making a decision. But when the woman is attached to you, yes, her decisions is attached yeah. to the emotions yeah. that, yeah. that you draw yeah. from her. So when she think that my father, I just want to finish this sentence, it's like she said, she's like, we got to stop thinking like he like her when he do it. We like, got to stop thinking the same. Well, that low she like that she like low yeah, key. Bro, shit. So I think that it really comes down to like I'm not the, stop in the any same, situation. I'm just gonna put that out it there. It comes down to the intent behind it, right? Yeah. It's more natural. So I can actually we got two women yeah. that's present right yeah. now, right? One is on camera, one is off camera. Would you want to have sex with 60 men? Hell no. Okay, would, now we got seven men in here. I'm 30 now, bro. I, I don't care. At I don't 18, care. Yeah, hell at, yeah. at any point hell in your yeah. life. At any, so it's just like, it, I, I think that. Like, real. At 18. And, and, and we all know that's an ego funny. thing. You know, it's funny. It sounds, because when but we're at 30, men, nah, you I'm good. Because, yeah, yeah. yeah, we off that. 30, yeah. like, I'm, nah, hell it's, no. Like, and no, it does real. mature. It does. That's real, though. For men, that's like, hell yeah, I'll fuck them all. You Even if you don't want to, if you do it, you'll get that. in the world. Like, come on. Like, you know what I'm saying? But you know what else we got to acknowledge is that it's crazy as as we mature. Um, we, we start looking at things differently, Hell right? Yeah. One thing that I didn't, that I look at now that I didn't look at, we get, we can't ignore the fact that the sexual interaction, right? So as a woman, you're, you're, you're receiving penetration. Exactly. You're, you're having somebody, yeah. we talk about energy, right? Yeah. You're, yeah. you're receiving somebody energy too. inside of yeah. you, right? So it's like you're, you're ca- almost capturing right. that energy. 
right. as a man is like we're releasing energy yes. yeah. right yeah. so like for, for us of course yeah. it's not as emotional for us because it's like right. we don't got to open our legs yeah. to do exactly, it exactly we're not right? opening up right. we don't Ex have to open exactly. up the exactly and it's like that's something that Ain't, i still have to yeah. just honestly recognize because that's something that i i'm not really big on everybody talk about energy and i'm yeah. i'm just getting on that energy wave if yeah. that makes sense right, right. I you like I just I, I just never really believed in it because it's okay. like I don't you know what I'm saying we do it because we want to but nah it's, it's really yeah, it's real, it's real. Really and like thing. and like I you know I, this it's funny because like like I said like women just want to make sure that you don't like what you you know what I'm saying like you know sex for men is just different like you know what I'm saying it, it just is real and that's where I understand what, like from an emotional aspect like I'm a woman like I won't even if I don't like you I don't even want to have sex with you like I have to like you to want to do it you know what I'm saying and some women I think most women are like that like you got to feel something like you got to feel a spark you got to feel some little even if it's a short connection you got to feel some like you know I call it sex etiquette okay that's what I always called it like yeah. you know what I'm saying like because I'm like, first of all, I need some etiquette to have sex yeah. with me. Like, you can't just, you know, come drop off and release in me. Like, I need, you know, something. I agree, and I 100%. think, like, that's what women, you know, really carry a lot of that. And, like, you know, if you don't like her, kill her then. It's like. It was crazy. <laughs> hey, cheating is not cheating. Uh, Naeem Wolf. I said it right. Yeah, I, love it. I love Naeem it. Naeem I love it. I'm Dengley, excited yeah. to read the rest of it. I, like, I can't wait because, like, hopefully, even if I don't yeah. make it back to the show, yeah. and y'all just, like, kind of go. Because, yeah. like, I love y'all dialogue. Yeah. Like, y'all both got it. Y'all got to understand it. Y'all yeah. communicate real well yeah. in these topics. Well, 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 now, I mean, it's I mean, a real I mean, process. Time out. Thank you for the compliment, but it's a yeah. gross. It's a gross. <laughs> nah, but not real shit. Like, nah, no, we were, we I, as I sit with couples yeah. and yeah. like you know I feel like y'all y'all try to understand each other yeah. and that's big. Like yeah, regardless, no, it is. that's it is. huge. It is. And it's it's an everyday process. It's just an everyday journey. Cause Jay not trying to hear that shit. Cause he's a lot of work. Okay. He's I'm a, a lot of work. work. But for everybody out there, definitely <laughs> check out the book. And like, I wish we could have tapped into more, yeah. but we got into some interesting perspectives. Yeah. And like, just go read it. You know what I mean? Don't yeah. let four words stop you from yeah. getting two hundred pages of valuable yeah. information. Yeah. I talk about a lot. I love to hear it. The bar. Shout out to the wolf. <laughs> Don't let yeah. four words stop you from getting two hundred pages of information. Let's get it. Hey, so we want to transition. Um, we still want you on the conversation. Okay. And you might. I don't know if you talk about this in the book as well, but we what we want we wanted to talk about um boundaries and. And ultimatums like ultimatums versus boundaries okay uh it was this clip floating around uh the dead ass podcast shout um, out to them yeah shout that was dope. To, just shout out to them because they've been doing it for a while yeah. and um they they definitely look like they're transparent couples yeah. as well we yeah. fuck with transparent couples because a lot of times well not a lot in my experience yeah. i see a lot of couples just trying to fake it for the yeah. gram right yeah. yeah like so shout out to the transparent couples that's being real like yo yeah, nah, this is really the thing you know what i'm saying so scene. um because we are one of those transparent couples we definitely had something to say about ultimatums versus boundaries because I definitely was one of those men who, uh, what's the guy's name? Because Kareem is a girl. Well, Ka no. Uh, <laughs> Kad Kad Kadeem. Kadeem is the girl. No. Devel was a boy. Right. Yeah, so Devel, yeah. Yeah, okay, so Devel right. was the guy. So Devel was basically saying, <laughs> you gave me an ultimatum to be with you. Like, she didn't want to, um, matter of fact, don't say my words. Can you play? Play the clip. You wanted to be married before you lived with me? I want, I want a billion dollars. That don't mean I'm gonna get it. I but, can want but something, asking, but not. You, you right now. You nobody, dodging the question. Nobody pressed you to to do it. Yes, is that something I wanted? Yes, it was. But you didn't press me. To, are you gonna lie now so to the people? Because we talking about sex. Deval, you're gonna Deval, lie now to the people. Deval, knowing. Kadeen, you didn't strong, want monogamy. Of course I did. So then why are you avoiding the question? That's not avoiding the question. I'm saying, does that mean because I wanted and I requested that that you were gonna deliver it? Like nobody pressed you for that. Talking about you just said you wanted it and requested it. Do you not hear yourself? I can make a request. Is the request going to be granted? Am I That's not? Up to am, you, I, bro. am I not granting you monogamy? You are granting it to so me. So this is my question. Look this at is my question. always look at this. Look at, look at your boy. Look at your boy. This is my question. If you wanted monogamy, okay. Why would you want monogamy if monogamy if if sex is a chore for you? That's the question. You're avoiding the question. I'm not avoiding the question, but at first you said me, women or or in general me specifically are pushing monogamy on somebody. Okay, yes, that's something that I wanted, but I didn't press you for it and be like, "Devout, I'm gonna hold a gun to your head to propose to so me." Time out. Do also, women... okay. also, let me finish. Also, I don't feel like I was adequately prepared. For marriage, and I've said that before because if I knew that marriage and monogamy was going to involve me trying to meet you where you were at sexually for years to come, then I probably would have reevaluated it if I wanted to be monogamous anyway. That's so that's fair, but we're not even even talking about <laughs> that's good. marriage. Let's even talk about dating, right? Okay. Two people are dating. Typically, in society. So basically, um, what 
I'm hot. What I was, what I was, I, I understood him at first, right? <laughs> and then I read some messages on Twitter, and uh, I'm gonna go to the, the messages because I want to be very, I want to be on point with what I got to say because yeah, I definitely just think. Tread lightly. Whatever. Um. <laughs> so, so this girl, with the the the, uh, the the statement that stood out to me was also her saying, "I am myself getting married." I see myself getting married and not just shacking up is an ultimatum. It's her giving you her boundaries. It's up to you if you wanted to accept those conditions or move on and you got married. Um. <clears throat> so Jay has bullshit. said many of times that I forced him into a relationship. Yes. He was joking. Uh, that's bullshit. He I'm gonna said tell you. many of times that I forced him to, in a relationship, but I never was like, you need to be with me. I told him, I'm just not with the shit. You're not about to be fucking over here or whatever. Well, look, you can do what you want to do, baby. You can do what you want to do, but look, over here, I ain't doing that. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that wasn't like, Jay, you know what I'm saying? It was just, it just is what it is. Like I'm not about you're not about to do it, and I don't think that's an ultimatum. It's, just it's your my boundaries. boundaries. You know what I mean? But I feel like there's a lot of men who actually have said that. Like I have friends that said, like, yeah, he always talking about some. I forced him to be with me, or I forced him. It's like nobody can force you to do anything. If you want to do you, do you. So you know what I mean? What I'm gonna say about that, right? And you could ch jump in whenever you want. Okay. What I'm gonna say about that from a man's perspective. You should have gave me your boundaries before we even started dibbling and dabbling, period. So what happens is don't try to give me your boundaries now that we're in a relationship and we're staying together and we're living together. Now you want to say, hey, I don't want to be in this. You got to marry me. And if you don't, then. Uh, she because, didn't say if you don't. Well, she, she didn't say that. No, she but, just said literally a sin. I don't want to be shacking up forever. Right. So we got what is our next level? Where are we going? And as a man. That's, that's a reflection point. That's a goal. That's right. not like. Oh, you got to do this by certain certain day or woo. And not to say there's not women who do that. There are some women who do that. But in her to speak to what she said, she's just saying, "Look, I don't want to do this forever. So right. we're gonna have to reevaluate. And it's okay to reevaluate six months, eight months, a year. You can reevaluate re every chance. So you need to. What, what I'm gonna say is like even in, in our situation, right? Not to say because I, I do joke, but I do like I'm not about to say it's not a truth in it, right? Um, when it comes to boundaries versus ultimatum, I feel like you need to be very clear with your boundaries before you even jump into anything. Because even like she said, she said if she would have known what it would have been like, she would have made a she would have reevaluated her decisions. And she and, wouldn't have wanted to be monogamous uh, either, which exactly, I can't handle either. Exactly. So what I'm saying is like when it comes to relationships, right? What happens is and well, just in our experience, we've started we started to vibe, mm -hmm. we started to click, and then boom, you're either gonna be with me. Or because you're not going to be you're not going to be with me doing everything that you're doing to me. That's the ultimatum because what happens is like you could have told me this before we did anything. You could have had this conversation before we before we stayed the night before we before we kissed before we had besides to go go on dates. You could be like, yo, before we go on dates, before we kiss, before we do anything relationship wise, this is my boundaries. And this is that. Can you handle it or can you not? Because after no, it is easy said and done because guess what? On the other side. Now I like you. Now the vibe is there. And guess what? Guess what else is easier said than done? To be like, okay, I respect your boundaries. I'm going to walk away. Both of them are easier said than done. So if you give me your boundaries beforehand, before we do anything, then I can decide at that moment when I don't have no relationship with you, when I have no connection with you, then I can decide to, I can decide to be like, all right, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this with you or no. You guys trying to say what? Well? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm like observing. I'm listening up. So, I'm playing devil's advocate, okay, right? So what I what I want to say to that, right? And this is why I think human nature is so selfish sometimes. Because one, I feel like I think it's unfair that people don't give people the grace and room to continue to grow. Mm. So if I'm growing and I'm changing continuously, a lot of times I don't know what I want at the time I met you. I might have always knew I wanted to get married. I might have always knew I want to technically end up in the relationship. But as time is changing and all of us are like growing into our womanhood and our manhood, like after time, some things enough is enough. Like, so if I'm having sex with you and we're going, you, you know, we're laying up every night or whatever, whatever. And you think you still want to dibble and dabble at a point. I'm growing into my womanhood. Enough is enough. I need a next step or I, it's not even that I need. I'm letting you know what I want mm. at this point. 
And it's not saying like you have to. And although you say it is hard to walk away, at the end of the day, that's on me. That's on you. Like no matter what way you look at it, it's still on you because you have to know. Well, I, if that's not what you want to settle for, don't settle. But what you can't come back and do is say, well, you forced me because that means you settled. And to be frank. I don't really want to be with anybody who settled. So now we have a whole different issue. Mm. So if we allow people to grow into themselves and change their mind, and I'm big on that because what I liked at 25, I'm about to be 30 in three weeks. I'm not going to like at 30. What I like at 30, by the time I'm 35, I might not even like anymore. Mm. And I have to have that grace as a human to be able to change my mind. So do you. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you start in this relationship that, you know, like you're an entrepreneur, you've always been that, since I've known you and you decide to change your career field and you're like, look, I know this is not the lifestyle I introduced you to, but now we're moving into another one and I don't like it. Well, you know what, you know I, what I'm saying? Like you have the right to still change your mind. No, you're right. But what I, but what happens is, um, it is on us. Right. And yeah, we have the right to change our minds, but at the end of the day, we got to be considerate of other people. When we, anytime we're putting, like you said, any, well, before you was like, Anytime you insert somebody else into the situation, and that's outside of ourselves. So if we're dealing with each other, right, you need to know what you want. And if you don't, that's not my issue. Because what happens is, <clears throat> let's say if me and you in a relationship, right, and you've been the same. And I just all of a sudden say two years later, three years later, yo, I don't like this. I don't think I can deal with this. I want to walk my walk, do my own thing, go a separate way. Yeah, although that might be understandable, that's not really fair for you as well. Because I should have known what I was getting myself into. Almost. To be honest. So can though, I? I, I yeah, wasn't jumping. I was yeah. trying to like get like gauge like yeah. a, a good perspective. So all right, I'm gonna start with what you were saying in regard to like growth and like allowing room for it. Like I I agree with that. But I want to go to the first perspective when we start using the word force, right? Because like I think that like what devolve. I think like where a lot of people like I understood what he was saying because I'm a man. I could, I could I could grasp the concept of it. But I think where he missed. And, and, and like articulating is like when we start using words like force, right? We look at women that deal with men that's not good for them for years and years at a time. Real. And at the end of the relationship, they talk like they had a gun to the head, like yeah. like they, they they take the they assume that's the victim real. role. Yeah. So I don't I'm not for the victim role. I don't yeah. want him to take it. I don't want well, us to take it. Right. And real. I don't want to allow women to take it either. That's so real. I think this was one of the rare cases where I seen a man playing victim, yeah. Yeah. and nobody allows him to do it. Yeah. He like you kind of force me, and like men is like I can see that because you know. So <laughs> even when we use the word force, right? So. Force ain't always in terms of doing something you don't want to do for somebody else. Sometimes it's doing what you want. You might want to make that person happy. Right. You know what I mean? So they can leverage their happiness over you by manipulating you to mm. do things that, that cater to their happiness. Yeah. And as men, we want to make our women happy. If you love your woman, you want to see her happy, even if it means adjusting yourself. I don't think nobody should adjust themselves for the worst, but some every man don't think like me, yeah. right? So with yeah. that being the case, like when we look at this victim mindset and it, it, it's accepted and yeah. we say we're like force, we can't crucify him and then let yeah. every woman in the no, world bro, bro, get away bro. with Saying, saying like it. I, so I, I dealt with him it's his fault you know what I'm mean? glad you said that because you know it's crazy because like you know I'm at a point like even with my friendships like you know what I'm saying I know every relationship goes through their stuff or whatever but just certain behaviors of like you said just that's just not good for you you know what I mean I I almost think it's intolerable like yeah. I'm like why are you dealing with that like yeah. this is bullshit like move the fuck on like you know what I'm saying sometimes I can be very insensitive to that and you know Hearing them play that victim role, like, oh, well, da -da, and I've been here all this time, and he's still, it's just like, well, you're allowed. Like you're waiting for him so to I change. I will say, so I'm not just... a person who condones victim behavior on even the female aspect. What I will say to tie it back into, you know, a man doing this, I just think for both sides, like, I think happiness, you know, we were talking about the mission of the relationship, mm -hmm. and that's just something that we are new to when we, like, what is the mission? Right. Like, we was like, damn, like, you know, we watched something that said, like, every business has a, a mission statement. Everything has a mission. What is your mission as a relationship, 100%. you know? And I think that a part of the mission has to always be happiness. And I feel like I don't, what I don't understand about the click, is he unhappy? So, so I, was, I, I want to go to the second part of it, too, because just like the, now I'm going on, like, what you said in regard to, like, I don't, I do think that, like, as, as men, like, we, we shouldn't, we shouldn't gauge our happiness. We can't. We don't, we don't know what we want sometimes, but we right. more, we have a, so I look at it like this, right? When we think about lifestyle, women know their lifestyle they want. They want to get married. A man don't know when he wants to get married. I, I can't tell you when I'm yeah. going to be ready for marriage. Yeah. It's really predicated on the success of how I feel within, like, yeah. being comfortable, like, within my finances, my life. Yeah. My life. If, if my life ain't together, I don't want to be married. Facts. Women, they, their, their life don't work like that. They was taught marriage is a thing. Yeah. That's what I want. So yeah. they, they, like she said, they can see the image of it, yeah. but that don't mean they see him in that image. Yeah. Right. So that's what changes yeah. over time. It's yeah. like, all right, at first I knew I 
wanted a man. I have a man. Okay, now I realize I want a man that's like this. You're not growing to be that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So go ahead. And into that, right? Into both of y'all statements, yeah. right? I think as a man, I, that's why I can understand and relate to what he's saying. Um, because we know what we want. I want to be. A, I, I want to be a good man. 100%. I might not know when I want to be get married, but I know for a fact I want to be a good man. 100%. So if I get caught with the ultimatum or boundary, let's because I don't want to be. I want to be unbiased as possible. Mm. If it's an ultimatum or a boundary, because I want to be a good man, I don't see past the part of being a good man is making a sound decision for myself first, yeah. right? I see that I want to treat my woman 100%. Right, that's, right? Yeah, that's the, so that's this it. is why I joke about it, but verb is just everything. So it, yeah. I'm, t I'm touching on so many things in one. So just, right. just bear with me. So when it, I don't think it's playing a victim role. It's really being transparent and understanding in the part that, okay, I, I told Shadi this all the time. I joke. I say, yo, if you're a woman, you kind of got to force your man into the relationship because if he likes you, he's going to choose. And that's not really forced. It's not forced. It's right. really just making him make a decision. And what that's where the boundary comes in. Right. If it's a woman that you are willing to make a decision with, you're going to say, yeah. How because if it's somebody that you don't, I didn't got caught with that mad time. Like, well, yeah, I'm sorry. We're going to just be friends. You know what I'm saying? I'm just that's the real. only way they can find exactly. out what your so, intentions are. But at the same time, verbiage is everything. So I don't think that he's playing a victim role. I think as a men, as men culture, we just got to. We gotta change the way we see it or say it sometimes because yeah, we, that force word. Yeah, when you I don't say like force, that force word. that's the only. I that's why I said. I, don't think, no I woman think everybody. That. I think no. that everybody highlighted that, and I wanted to talk about the area in which he missed for men. But yes, you're 100 percent right. That will determine our intentions because if a woman hits us with the because women should come into something with standards. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> but because it, if we did have standards, you would treat us like everybody exactly. else. Exactly. Yeah. Like, and, and, and that's and you. Me, yeah. You got. That. They have to do that, bro. Yeah. No, no facts. Because even if they don't require us, and it's not. not we, but we got to think, right? Because let, let me be clear for the people out there that think that you can require a man to buy you a bag. We're not talking about no, that. We're not, we're not talking about the things you want. We're talking about just simple things that like that 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 to your moral compass, dignity and respect. But honestly. Even in that conversation, as shallow as shallow as it is, they can because as a man, right? Like men, I think they can because like, and right. that goes for me to say anything opposite is kind of me saying the opposite of what I'm saying. So like, for example, if a if if, that, if if that's the woman that you want, right? It's sad, and I think we have to do a lot of maturing as a culture as men, right? Because if that's and I was in a situation like that, if that's well, not that, but. If that's what she wants, right, and that's what we think is gonna make her happy as men. If you read, um, uh, fuck, the I'm way of the book. superior man. The, oh my god, there we go. Give me some love. Yeah. Give me some love. So if you read the way of the, I so, love black men who read. So Shout if, you, out if, to you, that. If, if you read the way of the okay. superior man, as a man, we are always trying to fix something, right? Yeah, and that's and that's and that's our I problem at the that. same time. So it's like if our woman requires happiness through materialistic as men we're we're going to try to so fix that and make her though. happy through I materialistic I don't disagree with that you're 100 percent fact because that that goes back to us wanting to make our woman happy mm. so that comes from observation not her saying if you don't buy me this bag you could go right right i can get another nigga to do it right, right. we not i'm not oh, going yeah, for yeah, that yeah, yeah, you see yeah, what i'm saying yeah, yeah, so yeah. that's why i wanted to clarify yeah. for the people because there's so many people that put that standard yeah. and i'm like that's an expectation that right. doesn't have to be met you right. got to make six figures you got to be six two you got to be brown skin you got to have that's what I was saying. Here. But as, you see as, what I'm saying? A, as a man, as a man, culture though, if woman were to say this right, even if it's, even though we know this is wrong as humans, if you have that woman that does require that, as men, it's just in our nature to try to meet those requirements. I can't be even sick too, bro. That, but so, <laughs> ask me this, and I, I mean, I might well, be wrong. Me, I might be wrong, but I'm just saying, if you with a woman that you love, right, and she's just, if she if she's saying it in a way for you to understand, you might change your way of thinking. Now it was like. Shit, all right, how can I get surgery to, to get to I mean, I'm just, I feel like so what, I get the what only, you said. The only get, person in this world, people say, eh, please, this is going to go bad. I already know. People say money is the root of all evil. I don't believe I that. don't believe that at all. I think. Money is the root of all happiness. I think it's. <laughs> hey, I'm waiting for it. Drop it. Drop it. Come on, Jay, because I'm with you. We, you got some you nah, got help so today. I, so, I'm so you, <laughs> you gotta, gotta really hear me. You gotta hear what I'm saying. It's, 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 I'm not going to say what I, what I usually say. It's the. It's the need to make your woman happy, period. It ain't, I usually say woman, right? But it's the need to make your woman happy. And I say that because if you look at most movies or most real life situations, people are getting killed over woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah people are getting killed over money, but it's because I want, I want a possession over my woman or I want to be this person. And it's like, I mean, that's just, it's real, right? Yeah, man, um, yeah, 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 so definitely. I say that, I say it's woman and, and, and then it's money. It's the need for woman and the need for money. From that's, a man point, I That's what I say that. as yeah. a man. So I say that to say if a, if a woman that you love, she can manipulate a situation into you thinking that it's something that is not because that's just the power that they have 
Uh, so I will say this: I feel like women have way more influence than they give themselves credit for, and the right and ones know. We no. give themselves credit but, for. It, no, but I felt well, yeah, because I guess like in total the, the number of men. But yeah. me, me understanding that, I don't allow it to leverage me. But I see the influence women have over everything. Like you know what I mean? And I don't even want to. I could take the conversation so far left with what I what I want to say <laughs> in regards to how much influence women have. But he they have right most in a, of it in a sense. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But because like, even like, even as simple social stuff, media woman, even getting the hair, <laughs> even something as simple as a man getting a haircut. Men get the haircut because they want to attract they women. Want, yes. You know what I mean? So we I want, I, I want to look good because But I do, women, but I want to go back to the surgery statement. For me personally, the level of love and respect I got for myself, a right. woman can't change me. That's so right. I won't love right. a woman that don't love me. Exactly. So like that, so hold on. Exactly. So anything that she requires is in my natural course of observation to want to provide, but not because she's demanding it. Yeah. More so because it just a, a caters right. to her a natural state of happiness. And I, and I also I mean? feel like sometimes things just do align. Like, so yes. for example, like even with that situation, I'm like, that's why I don't like the word force. Because yeah, I, yeah, feel I like, like that word as either. a as your woman, please don't ever use the word force with me because honestly. I feel like a good woman is never leading it towards a bad direction. Like, so if I'm like, okay, we can't keep shacking up. It's not to say like, you're doing bad. We can't keep shacking up. This isn't a good look for us. Honestly, that is the goal. Marriage, producing, Can I say where she missed more that wealth, she, all of that. She, we talked about where he missed. She missed when she said, if I would have knew that he said, now I'm giving you monogamy. Because like when he say forced, he's saying, like, basically, if you were going to have a problem with having sex with me seven times a week, then you should have just let me have sex with other women. If that's you, what he, and, and that's she, what he said. Yeah, and, but, but she said, like, also, if I would have knew that it was going to require with. that much of me, then yeah. I wouldn't have wanted to do yeah. that. So that's where it's like, oh, like, yeah. that's the part we can't yeah, over. No, we no, no, can't. No, no, that no. should be a clip that's going around because it's like, now that goes to what Jay is saying, like, wait. I adjusted for you. Right. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. I made this because I love you. I said, you know what? Exactly. No other woman is worth losing you. Exactly. Because this is the boundary you right. set. You said, I can't sleep with nobody and else. Right. And, and now you're going to tell me you wish you would have let and me that's, And that's what I'm right. saying as, you know as men. Right, because right. like, then it's like, I, then I didn't need to bury you. And, like, see them, it, exactly. It, it, and if I could have kept you, like, why buy the cow if you, you know what I'm saying? You're already getting the marriage. Even like, our marriage can have terms of, like, like I could do me a little bit because you know you don't want to satisfy my Right, right. But I also feel like that comes with communication. Like, you know, a lot of things that I've seen about this situation even when it goes into the monogamy talk is like just not knowing your partner like you know you knew your your partner's sexual desire from the beginning so as well as on her part like if you was fulfilling all these needs at first you know what i mean there you so, know but hold on because you know some women were like well you should have kept your stamina like you know what i'm saying kept that going but you know obviously i don't think some men do realize that over the course of years things do change when you add children when you add jobs when you add these things that do alter sex life you know what i mean which it's like you can say like oh you know you should you wanted me to be monogamous you know what i'm saying then we get through the marriage now you don't want to really have sex with me no more well it's also like well if you want me to have sex with me more we'll do you know help me out more so that we can do sex. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of, it, it really is communication where you are and compromise so that you guys can all meet the same, and I you know to, what I mean? Meet I wanted to touch to on be. the self-love part and that's a great aspect. Yeah. But I think as a, just, I think perspective of everything, right? And because everything is so subjective, we can't really say what's right or wrong. Right. Like when you were saying like, no woman can make you do anything outside of that because that's, you love yourself yeah. and you know that's right. Real. For me, when it comes to that, I feel like the only woman that can make me change anything is my woman. But so, it's your decision. No, you no, read the book. Yeah. No, you, no, 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 it's, it's my decision. But what I'm saying as a man, I feel like, although like I grew up, my mom's always taught me is God, Jesus, yourself, then me. When you get married, it's God, Jesus, yourself, then your wife, right? So I, I'm saying that, I think as a man, I always put my wife before myself because mm. it's like I I'm here to make you happy. 100%. So if you're my wife, and like you said, you, you made a point. You was like, yo, a good woman is going to always lead you in the right right way, right? Mm. But as a man, we're sometimes mis not misconstrued, we're, bl we're blurred. So we think that anybody that we love is good. So anything they telling us, and it goes into the example of, and I, and it, this might not apply for you. And I'm, I, and I'm, might, I'm just you know what I'm saying? It, it, it might, yeah, yeah, I yeah. might have a lot to grow up yeah. to do in this aspect. But far as now, it's like even in that small, it might be extra or extreme, even in that small, small instance of, okay, I need to be get, get taller, right? Because we look at humans as being humans because there's women out there who do get uh, to these asses because they want to be accepted or they, they think this is what men like. And I feel like men are the same way right. to the woman that matters to them and, the most. And I agree 100% when you say that because it just like the, the height thing made it came off extreme. Yeah. But, yeah. but I like we, extremes. No, no, yeah, so I, I, I can speak in but extremes. So, all right, so now I could, I could bring it down a bit. Too, and I'm too. pretty sure a man will find his way. Okay, I will find a doctor because it's, yeah. it's ways to get even, taller maybe. Even, yeah, because I'm not man, saying it would be me, but I'm saying, it, I mean, if it was shit. So you know what's crazy though? Because like men make that adjustment and it correlates with like 
like the development of a man, but if a, if a woman was to make that adjustment, it goes to her not having self love for herself. Yeah. Yeah, that's how we have, that's society, yeah. right? right. Yeah. Like she get her boobs done, it's like, oh, you know, you hate the right. way you look. Right. But a man could go get six inches taller, and it's like, you know what I mean? But yeah. I think certain things about our physical appearance, besides like our reconstructing our smile, different yeah. things like that, it's like we, we accepted, we, we, yeah. we left to deal with. Whatever the size of our penis, that's yeah. what we got. Yeah. She's like, yo, Dr. Miami, I need three more inches. Yeah. Like, my, yeah. date, my girl said she want. This, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we kind of deal with it. So, like, or we go to the gym and we, we try to get muscles, whatever the case. But I, but think, I think the like adjustment will, ain't no just more. in physical. I think it's, <laughs> I think it's more... <laughs> I think it's more internal. I think the adjustment we make is more on the internal side of things, like more so than it is things that we could do externally. So I like the example of getting taller, but getting taller might just be growing as a man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I think women force yeah. you to do that. So that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's why real. I said I take the extreme Ooh, and I want to bring it down. Some shit today. That's real. So that's real. I take that's that, but even going back to the whole concept of like monogamy in itself, yeah. right? And like, I got two women on here. So when I say this, this is for the, the women audience that, that's watching, right? I think this is my philosophy, and it's something I'm working on right now, even I might mention in my next book. Mm -hmm. I think that women are monogamous in the beginning, but men are monogamous in the end. I think mm -hmm. that once he's done, all of the shit he had to do, he's ready to chill, but her life didn't change. She chance. wanna have fun. Oh, let's have this conversation. Have you know what I mean? This shit didn't. So right, let's like, have this conversation. This is, why, this is my philosophy. This is why 10 years down the line, she's more subjected to step out and get something fresh. So, because you might have, that's oh, yes. you stopped doing things you were Woo. doing. And da -da -da -da. Hold up, where we at? Hey, so what I was gonna say, mm, mm, mm. so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put that on. First of all, I'm gonna be fair. I'm, 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 I'm trying to be fair. Um, I'm not gonna say women are more subjective to step out. However, what I will say is, I told Shadi this. I'm like, yo, you gotta get a, a man that's been through the mud. And what I mean by through the mud, I mean fucked a lot of bitches, all that. Because what happens is now, it's no reason I don't, I don't, I don't have the urgency or the need to do that, that's, right? Yeah, yeah. And what I mean, and and going into what you were saying, I do feel like because Shadi told me I've changed. Okay. We had this conversation, right? And she was saying I changed in the fact that, like, when we first met, I was basically, I don't want to say fun, but I, I don't want to say you. you. No. <laughs> basically, when she first met me, we was always lit. We out, we, we doing this, right? right? So now I'm chilling. She still want to have fun. So if, uh, when, I, when I say that she changed, she's looking at me like, no, nigga, you changed. Right. And now what it's like, I'm like, yo, I just want to be a family man. Like, I'm going to my family. Because he not had all his fun. And you know I'm like, like no, I don't keep that same that. energy. Party now, me. She want to go out. The fun. She, she want to go out, have fun, go to Turks and, Turks and Kinkos, uh, Houston, fucking Mexico, uh, uh, Saudi Arabia, all these places. And I'm like, yo, sit the fuck down. Kick it with the family. You get what I'm saying? So I'm like, the fuck? Right. Man, it is it? really like a thing. If you too, I'm like... Uh, Come on, I, like I, I don't want to sit in here. I promise because, you, that's like that's like yeah. that's like on average. That's yeah. literally how it goes. Like I, I literally, I got. I'm here with one of my homies. Like he literally going through that right now. Like in his mirror moment, we talk about it the whole two hours here. He's going through the same thing where he's like, he's at that scene here, like where he like, like his girl down. is just getting to that I'm point. Honestly, party, like get the fuck they call me a party animal. The other but day. that's why I say I want a girl that's burnt out. And like I'm like I want her past that stage. Okay, so but here's the thing. So like, and it, it depends past what stage. So, like because here's the thing. Like I don't want to like party. I, I just want you. like traveling is my thing. It's always been my thing. I love to travel. Like, but it's like if we could find a compromise, that's fine. Because I'm also I would say, you understand. Like through the pandemic, I've been working from home. I've been working from home going on eight months now. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm working from home the remainder of the year. My whole routine changed. So I work in D.C. So normally I'm on a train. I see people. I get to go to work. Now I'm in the house. So, yes, any chance I get, we got to go. Hey. We got to go somewhere because it's a mental thing at this point. That's you know fact. what I mean? It's a mental thing. Like, I don't want to sit and look at, like, my office is my room. Right. Like, come on. Like, I'm supposed to get a break from work. I work at my work. I, think, I live at my work. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, what am I supposed to do? And I, think, I think that we do, as men, we do got to find that. That energy, yeah, because like, we get so fixated on our careers, we looking at what we want to do, we want to satisfy our desires of like accomplishment, yeah. Right? Like we can't, we can't navigate from that, and it's like women want that, but they they still want that aspect, yeah. Right? And it's like we do gotta kind of trying to adjust and get yeah. somewhere in that middle, I, you right. know what I mean? But it's like at the same pull time, the closer to you. No, the mic, the mic. Pull oh, the I'm mic. sorry. Pull the so it's like even when you was going back to saying um, in the beginning, um, you was like, "Yo, she felt like you know you changed. You felt like she changed. She's like, nah, she you, at me. Yeah, <laughs> you like, like, nigga, you like, changed. <laughs> and it's like, it's like, be now, late. cause you gotta think like they want experiences. You know what I mean? Women want thank new experiences. You. So like, thank you. It's crazy it's that you say that, right? Experience. Yeah. And I want to transition to that. You said women want experiences, right? Yeah. I scroll down a little bit. Uh, what the fuck do we want? As a black culture, ooh, because I ask I ask that question because it's like no matter no matter what happens, positive or negative, we always got something to say. We we have a conflicting message. We don't have a concise a group. We don't agree on shit. Yeah, shit. We, so what the fuck we do don't we agree on nothing. We don't agree on disagreeing. If right. somebody's like, like, what? We all agree. Like, 
what what no, we not even what, so, so what do, what, do, what yeah, is our goal rub. as a black culture and i um so a few a few topics that we touched on is um of course we see what's going on with ice cube mm-hmm. okay. uh of course we see what's going on with uh um jaden and uh willow smith okay uh and it's like every time something positive happening or something that we don't understand it can be pushing our culture forward, yeah. but we got something to say. For example, yep. Jay Z. When Jay Z uh, started to work for the NFL, oh everybody had something to say without even giving him a chance. Same thing with Ice Cube. It's like if you look at his background, Ice Cube's background, nothing about him says sellout. Right. But we want to call this man a sellout because he's quote unquote working with Trump. Well, we don't even know about. So I think we misuse our voice. We misuse our power, and um, we 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 actually directed against each other first and i think that like where everybody misses in their interpretation of what goes on is they attach it to their emotions first mm. so it's like we the first thing we think about is how we, we can feel. empathize yeah. and, and, and be compassionate we, yeah. we, we 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 always select the side that shows yeah. more compassion right yeah. before we think logic yeah. now you being a logical thing or you being a logical thing we could say have an open conversation I'm like well that don't make yeah. sense yeah. but for the world because they go to their emotions first they don't <clears> it's not about what right. they think it's about how they feel right. So if I feel like I don't fuck with yeah. you and you fuck with somebody I don't fuck with, right. now you a sellout. Because, right. You're and like, I, oh, he making sense though. And I keep saying, like, I think something that the black culture doesn't do is we don't research and find our knowledge before we make an opinion. So now it's judgment. You know what I mean? 100%. And I think if we just would pause for a second without knowing, like, even when the ice cube ice cube clips went about i said i'm not even gonna say nothing i said because i need to see what's going on and not that i always do it i'm not making myself exempt because there's times i see something I'm like what hell no nah. like, that, like you read you know chapter six you're like the fuck yeah, exactly you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> no because i must say it's like but like even to say like at that like we don't do enough research and we're not as knowledgeable as we really need to be and that's really a lot of the problem because we're not as knowledgeable we make these quick assumptions or quick opinionates or rest of judgment we, we, right and we start criticizing criticizing everything mm. and it's really just not right so, especially when it comes to our people so how do we feel about when it comes um, to our people asking about the goal right yeah how do we feel about ice cube uh it's like two questions right yeah. how do we feel about the actual act of him having this conversation with trump and then how do we feel about the criticism that's going on yeah with us like i say yeah. us because it's really the right. black coach are criticizing him right. with having that conversation with trump so if I could chime in just briefly, because I, I hate to talk politics. Yeah, I feel like nobody real. wants to be open minded. Yeah. I feel like yeah. everybody develops a stance and sticks. But mm-hmm. that's not even but just no, but no, but Cube it's, itself. It's, it's around so politics. What I say politics, is, though. how can we come up with a solution for the people that's supposed to be the problem if we're not willing to talk to them? Mm. Right, right. Like that's where yeah. communication yep. is key. Yep. You don't you don't have to kill your enemy. Yeah. You can they can become less of an enemy when you silence them exactly. and make them. I mean, if not you read, you know uh, mean? I can't remember the name. <laughs> it's like for, uh, what is it? Forty eight laws of plot. Forty eight laws of power. Yeah. yeah. If, 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 if you say if you, you make them a friend. You got mm-hmm. ex- exactly. Yeah, make them a friend. So it's like you got to make them a friend, and 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 that's the way. And and even to. I, I agree with Ice Cube. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I've, I've I've always been big, and a lot of my peers don't agree with me. Mm-hmm. Like I never thought racism was the biggest problem in, in our community. Nah, it's, it's not. It's, it's wealth. It's, yeah, it's, it's class. It's a it's, it's, a, it's, it's a it's a it's a war on money. It's not. Yep. It's yep. rich and poor. It's yeah. nothing right. else. Because but even, which is why I like what Ice Cube said. If you watch what he says on CNN, he the, said like the, the wealth pro- gap. It's the wealth gap. It's it's nothing more than if black people had something, we could sit and talk. We could sit at the table we'll because power, we can't. Yeah sit at the table it's nothing much we could say or do and i think you know even in chiming on ice cube you know shout out to ice cube because he's not getting enough flowers as he should he's been no. using his voice for us since before we can even talk about it and even now i fuck with the fact that he got on cnn and said i don't like none he of these motherfuckers like, i don't like none of y'all i don't like I'm none of y'all talk however i'm gonna talk to to whoever is willing to take what we got to say. Yeah, so yeah, whoever yeah. in power, I don't even got to like you. I don't care who wins. So I, I don't y'all, care who wins, but somebody needs to talk to me. As, like, as period. the quote unquote enemy, right? Do you think that Trump took that conversation because he knew that this was going to be the outcome? Because it's like, we're, we are focused on the, on the, um, the, um, oh, the you, presidency. Or we, we are focused on the, um, what's the word? The, the, the election. election. We, we, we are focused on the election. So anybody, a businessman is like, yo, hold up. We can have this conversation after this is done, right? So it's like I'm not mad at Biden, right? Uh, his I'm not mad at his team for saying let's address this after election, but at the same time, it's like that's kind of like a smart move on the Trump and like, okay, let's have it now. You get what I'm saying? Like let's but have listen, it. But even when we say when we let Biden off the hook for being busy, right? 
that they're 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 campaigning hard for the black vote. Mm. Right. So why wouldn't that be first priority? Right. Right. You got a representative of a black point. community. That's a great right. point. You can't, you're not yeah. too busy when right. we your main, you're targeting and, us. And I think that's where it comes to why Ice Cube said, like, honestly, I don't even care. And yeah. I'm not even, I don't, I'm not even about to play the game. Like, yeah. whoever in office, talk to me. Yeah, because like, you know that's, that's the goal. So, what, so whether Biden waits or Trump takes it now, it doesn't matter because until one of them motherfuckers, it doesn't matter until next year. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. So until that's when I really want to see somebody do something. It's not, it's, it's not about, who has it is who's going to use it. You know like, what you know I don't what like saying? in our community? I feel like, you know, we always have these conversations of like, they separated us on yeah. purpose, right? right. They, like they, they made religion so we could be separate, right? Like we always have these conversations and then we go inside our, our inside oh our God. own community and, and separate. separate ourselves. For example, we have like, I'm not saying that um, uh, Ice Cube is wrong. Like he's definitely dope for what he's doing, right? Then you got Diddy um, having Trying a new political yeah. party, yeah. Yeah, right, party and it's yeah. like, but where do we stand together? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because why can't Why didn't we fight? they pair up? Yeah, like why can't even yeah. even even Kanye West, right? I'm a huge I'm a huge fan of Kanye. I love Me Kanye, too. right? I, I but what I don't him. fuck with right now is like, yo, and Sade brought this to my attention when um a good friend of mine was running running for mayor in Baltimore. It's like if you know you aren't if you know you aren't about to win right now. And, and you're not there and you're in your why party why separate the votes Vote, because what's happening that. is you're going to yep. get votes that's going to separate Make those time. votes that could have been that yeah. could have went right. to somebody to get this clown out the fucking right. office yeah. you know what i'm saying so it's like why can't we stand together in solidarity right. you know what i'm saying and like it's crazy because i didn't mean to go ahead, go ahead, you go off. uh kanye kind of did the same thing as ice cube to be honest yeah if we Facts. really want to throw I it mean, out there he really did his words were just way off it's really the action the communication was off way off so like the thing i liked yeah. about ice cube is he ain't trying to make friends nah. and you don't have to like somebody for us to make progress exactly. forward. Facts. we don't have to do that yeah. i think kanye's message got lost because he was trying to be his friend and yeah. show that like i love everybody and realistically like these niggas don't love and, us and, like they don't and, yeah like talk, you know what i'm saying man. no you're good nah. and, and i feel like at that point, that's where, but at the end of the day, Kanye really received a lot of backlash too. So it's all in the communication on how you deliver and now, how you put it out there. was right, right? Yeah. Because he went about it, I don't fuck with y'all, but we yeah. got to talk. Yeah. Y'all yeah, mad at me for that. Then he went at like, I'm going to be your friend. We got to right. talk. But I think where Kanye went wrong was like, people not ready for that I love everybody thing, yeah. right? Mm. Because like, honestly, and I don't, and, and this is yeah. just me, I believe in order to get a better future, we have to like, put our focus on the future. Mm -hmm. I feel like we chasing reparations when we could be making recreations yes. to move forward and do better. But we don't want, we like, we like, nah, fuck that. Y'all got to fix what y'all did yesterday. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yo, we, it, it's, a, it's a war on wealth. Right. You know what I mean? And look, let's look at, we got, let's, let's look at it like this, right? Nobody respects the man without money, which is what Q was saying. Yeah. We can use it for anybody that's watching. Y'all can look at women and how they view men that don't yeah. have money. Yeah. It's not a kind look at men how they view men without money. That's mm. It's not it, it, they get treated different. So mm. imagine us being that image of man without money. Yeah. Our person without yeah. money to the whole country. We yeah. want respect, but they right. only respect one thing in yep. a capitalist society. Yep. So this is why I say we should learn financial literacy to create yep. wealth. And it, before we even talk about generational wealth, that's create wealth of this generation. Yeah. Yeah. Because right. everybody I want to make generational wealth. It sounds yeah, good, yeah, it's yeah. trendy. But we need to create wealth of this generation. Yeah. That's why you know it's like, what is the goal for black culture? Because right. it's like, yo, we're it seems like we're all on separate path like right. like it's nothing like it's dope that diddy has a new political party yeah. right yeah. but what's not dope is that ice cube is fighting for wealth and diddy is fighting for this and kanye west is fighting for this can we right. all come together right. and fight one for is. one thing right. Right. you gotta, gotta figure out what so it would take us to let go because we are we were taught to divide right yeah. we were divided and conquered yeah. That's, yeah. If they didn't set, successfully do anything to us, right. they made they us taught divide us, us right. skin color, yep. gender, we religion, religion, religion. everything, yep. we, we politics, look, all of it. Everything that. is divided uh, within our our yep. community. So because there's so much division, we have everybody fighting for that right to be wrong. Everybody is standing on their side of nothing. Mm. So we can't come to together with something. If you like, you defending right. something that you knew your whole life, whether yep. it's right or wrong. And like for right. me, it's like I'm going to go with what makes sense. Mm. Yep. You can you have every you can sit here. Challenge my perspective and enlighten yeah. me and make me grow. Right. And I'm all for that. Right. But our people take that as offensive. Right. If you think if you make me wrong, right. now all of a sudden I gotta dislike you. Right. And I think when we even when we look at the beef that go on right. in these cultures, it's typically just two sides looking at two different the same thing with a different perspective. Mm -hmm. 
And we could sit down, which will take years, and it's going to take examples yeah. and not allowing them to divide yeah. us about, yo, we getting divided down to the point where they say, protect black women. Right. Now, now, you know now what I'm it's saying? women versus men. It's, it's so like, it's like nah, now it's a whole, like, y'all make y'all accuse nothing. Do you protect your girl? Hell yeah. Do you protect your, girl? Hell yeah. Do you protect your daughter? Hell yeah. Do you protect your mom? If you ask any black man on that this I earth, know. Yeah. if they protect <laughs> the women they love, they're going to tell you, yeah. But when we look at an example of a man that don't love the woman that they claiming to love, and they do something that's unprotected, it's no different. Than any other race. So why yeah. are we saying we protect our black yeah. women? It's not nobody yeah. gonna disrespect a black woman, harm a black right. woman, harm my black woman in, in front, front of me, me. Like, and I'm gonna be yeah. okay with it. Right. So right. Right. that movement is. And that's why, I, you know, but I've been saying that. I've been saying that. That's why that. I said it's not. Yeah. It's not when I say it's not money. I'm not saying it's women in a negative way. No. It's the fact that we're gonna do anything to protect yes. our black yeah. women. We're gonna yes. do anything to yeah. prove a. Prove something. Yes. Prove that we protect our black yes. women. Period. Even 100%. something that, 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 that doesn't make sense. Hundred percent. And that's kind of where I wanted to go. You know, even though you know we do have a long way to go, but I definitely still want to shout out all the good that is still going on. You know, we definitely still have black people on the rise, and they are on the rise at the highest point that we've ever been. So I don't want to take that from 100%. them. But we do need some order, and we do need some Direction. unison. We need. Yes. We, we need to get. A union. Like we need to be together. We have to be following one thing because at the end of the day. That's what we're how, lacking. How do, how do we That's where we lacking. Do you, how do what, what do you think? Um, so you know, I definitely think uh, it starts with our leadership. You know, what I'm saying I really definitely feel like the what black leadership? community, the black community, we don't follow any prime leadership. Like it's not one person we're it's looking no to, protocol. and it's no protocol, right? And I think that it's trying to be done, and I just think you know it's going to take time. You know, I think it's trying to be done. When we do see Diddy and we do see Ice Cube step out there, these things are new. Like this isn't something that you know. So I definitely want to still shout out to the fact that we are trying and we are moving up. However, the problem comes in when we are giving them backlash and doing these things. Like if we're, you know, if everybody was like, let's back Ice Cube. You, you know right what now. I think? We, we don't we don't have no patience with the process. Uh, if it's not immediate, we don't trust it. And I talk about I, I talk about I, I said well, it's crazy because I always talk about this IG effect, right? And we and IG mm. isn't just Instagram; it's mm. instant gratification. Mm. Yeah. So, so like I always instant. I always talk about that because it's like mm -hmm. we want we want things now. We don't, yeah. we don't want to be patient up. with it. And I think the part of the, the yeah. part of the problem is we're so judgmental as a yeah. people. Right, but we hate being judged, but we're we're so quick to judge. And it's like if we even with like we had this, we, we wasn't going to talk about it, but we had the Willow and Jada Smith. They felt like they were shunned by the black community. Why? Because they're different. Right. Even in, and honestly, and as men, it's hard to have this conversation because we are judgmental when it comes to the gay community, right? The LGBT community, because mm -hmm. like we can't accept somebody for who they are because that ain't, that isn't us. See, thing Period. is for me, it's like luckily I was fortunate enough. Like I grew up like like diverse in a sense. Yeah. Right? I mean, like yeah. I. I literally see nothing. I look at happiness. You know, happiness I look at what, be who you are. I, I respect anybody that's who they are before I respect right. somebody that's who yeah. they're not. And that's what I don't you know what like. I mean? yeah. You know what I'm saying? What, what's what? It's the fact that, like, just being a side note about that, when we talk about the LGBT community, the only thing I don't like is when you're going, if you're going to be something, be it. Be who you are. Yeah. Don't try to hide it. Yeah, no, be who you are. But at the same yeah. time, that goes, that transparent across the right. board, though. But I can't, I can't say. Society has yeah. made it hard for them. Yeah, that's yeah, that's why it's like but that. We, but they, but they try to hide it. them. Don't let, don't, so when you say it's men, because I feel like there's a narrative that heterosexual men can't accept, like, you that know, is the gays. That that's, is the No, that's yeah. not true. Like, if somebody can't, that's something personal with that person. Mm. Don't project that on yeah. them. I look at so Ooh. many films where they make heterosexual men out to be egotistical. We abuse women. We dead be dads, and no, we that's hate gays. Them. Right. And it's, and it's, <laughs> that's right. just dumb individuals. You know what I mean? And it's, and, and, but it's only the, right. it's only, right. it's only the heterosexual right. women. Right. And I'm right. like, why, why, no, like, my daughter right. god dad is gay. Yeah. And me and him got a good relationship. He cool. Right. Like, right. You know, I did a multiple business with him. It's to a point, but society does make it hard. Because when we was in college, and I used to take me with him, and the Calf, it would be dudes making little jokes yeah. and stuff. And but when like, you but think about our though. background, but, but think about our background though. Where we come from in the hood, it was different in yes. terms of like not being exposed to that and then being clowned for being smart. Yeah. You got clowned yes. for everything. But, yeah. but guess like, what? It wasn't not but guess, what? Yeah. guess what? That's on us. Just as 100 percent Just as much as we gotta just this just as much as we gotta protect our black women, we gotta protect us as a whole, yeah. entirety. So entirety. if we see as as men, right? As 100%. as heterosexual 100%. men, as men, period. If we see something going wrong with our woman. Men, whoever, we have to step up and say right. something. And I feel like and enough men not doing that. Yeah, you yeah. I feel like men sit back and be like, man, that's on that nigga. Yeah. And it should not be like that. Right. We, you right. We should, because when we start holding each other accountable, yeah. that's when shit change. Exactly. Because if you hold that man accountable, like, yo, that's stop. Right. I want, I want to correct you for one second because I don't want to. So it's 
it's not enough men doing it, but I just want to shout out to men who are doing it right, because like you guys are from two separate backgrounds. Right. You're from Philly. He's from Baltimore. Y'all just met. We're sitting here and y'all both agree on the same yeah, thing. Right. And I do believe there is places you can go that it will be the same thing. There's a lot of men who don't do it, but there are some who do. And those are the men that we look to as like superheroes. We need to highlight. Like real shit. And we, we, still, we need to continue to highlight them yeah. so more people can feel like, you know what? That's cool. I, that's cool. We got to change We got to change the, cool. change the definition. Ooh. I'm yeah. glad she said that because it goes back to what I said about women's influence, right? So I feel like when men try to adjust to become what women want, right? You know how you just said we highlight them like superheroes. Yeah. You, just by that statement alone, you are going to influence a thousand men to yeah. want to be better in that regard Seriously, because, because men want to do, at it. you know what I mean? So it's like when we look at women, they're like, yeah, I like me a scammer. I like yeah. me a drug dealer. Yeah. We birth more of that, right? Right. But when you say I like me a man that's going to stand up for what he believes in, to push the culture forward, we create more of that. But so that's facts. You, that's, that's what we need. Because so even from a our, lot you know of mean? that scammer like bag talk that is just an influence of people who's been doing it so they're like oh i love me so yeah. now it's fifty thousand city girls so running that, around here so take that right. influence the, for, for, for the ladies that's out there take that influence and, and, and pour it into that and for the men like we just yeah. did like you just said we continue to take our influence to be accountable with an action right because we ain't just sitting here talking because right. it sounds cool right. this is who you are i yeah, can this, feel it this yeah. is who i am yep. y'all can feel it so yep. we could create more of that and if society did that we'd be looking at some advancement and, no, you know it what I mean? would we just got to keep doing it Hey, that's a fact. Listen, Gemini Scorpio Podcast, episode 43. We enjoyed you. Thank y'all. Thank Thank y'all. It's safe to say episode 43 was legendary. Legendary. Um, Love it. Gems all through here. Hey, Gem, thank, gems all through here. Thank you for being our first guest. It's yes, crazy how you're a great first guest. It's Please. crazy how, how if we don't get how, another one like that, I'm nobody yeah. else. Is now coming. I was about to say, They're not coming on the show. It's crazy how life works, right? Because it's supposed to have been two guests, and I don't think the energy. Not saying it was anything wrong with her. It's just mm-hmm. I don't think it would have the conversation mm-hmm. would have flowed like mm-hmm. it flowed today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so I definitely want to say thank you for coming yeah. on. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for uh, having. Me. Cheating is not cheating. Make sure you cop up. The book is only fucking twenty dollars. Come on. Come I really like, I, I wanted more, I'm but I was thinking it. about my my people. I'm like, Fuck you know what? It. I don't want to. You yeah, know I mean? like, twenty dollars. I made Not only my, support a black man, support a good Listen, book. I made my purchase. Make your purchase. Yeah. Let's uh, go. Make sure you follow him on Instagram. With WSC, you know what I mean, on all platforms. With WSC underscore on Christian Mango. I'm joking. I'm not on Christian Mango. <laughs> <laughs> um, Twitter, with WSC underscore. But Naeem Wolf Dingo on Facebook. You know, check me out. And, like, you know, ho- I'll be connecting with them again. You know what I mean? Yeah. I see their platform growing. Mine's going to grow. So, like, this, like, I still get this is legendary, not yeah. because of the gems we dropped, talk but about because it. of where we're going. Yeah, mm. yeah. And then when we talk about where we met. So that's what's legendary about this conversation. Let's get a it. year from now, we're in a different position. Yeah, yeah, Already. Exactly. Hey, Gem- Episode 43. I had my first mimosa of the day. Hey! Shout, shout out, out to, to the Gemini Scorpio podcast. Episode 43, J. Hill, Hill Bay. It's a wrap. We out. We out.